Facebook ads are an incredible way to grow your business. And in today's video, we're gonna be covering how to structure high converting Facebook ads. So that way you can get more sales with your business. We're gonna be jumping right into it. And here we are inside of our Facebook ads manager. I'm not gonna be covering targeting or setting up a campaign today. We're just gonna be strictly covering how to create a high converting Facebook ad. But if you wanna see my other videos on Facebook ad targeting, you can definitely check those out here. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here we are on the ad level. And the first thing we're going to do is use an example from Muddy Bites. This is a brand that sells a product that you can actually eat and it's little Muddy Bites, which is the bottom of a wafer snack. And so we're going to go ahead and find a creative on this store that we can leverage inside of our Facebook ads. We'll go through some of these examples and see if we can find one that makes sense for running. So here's an example. We have GMO free, we have kosher certified, and then we have people food awards 20. 23. So we're going to go ahead and actually save this image and use this as an example for our Facebook ad creative and the product center focused. We can clearly see what they're selling. We're going to leverage this inside of our Facebook ad example. One of the first things we're going to do is hit manual upload. We'll choose single image and we can use a video carousel or collection, but we're first going to start with our Facebook ad format. That is a image based creative. We're going to use this image we took directly from the site. And this is good because whenever we send people to the site, they're going to see this exact same image which will let them know they're in the same place. We're gonna choose original or one by one on this creative. And what we're gonna do is because we wanna leverage this in the stories and reels placement, we're gonna go to Canva and actually update this creative. So here we are replacing the creative inside of Canva so that way we can use it. And then we're just gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of this background so it's perfect sizing. And a 1080 by 1080 placement is able to fit in a lot of different places on Facebook. And what we're gonna do in addition to this is we're actually gonna go to resize and magic switch. And then we're gonna do see all then we're going to go to Instagram and we're going to choose Instagram story. And then we're going to hit continue and we're going to copy and resize this design. So now we have our Instagram story placement. And what we can do is actually add in a specific call out here by leveraging this additional white space. So there's space above and below the product and we can actually put in the product title here and then we can start to adjust how this will look. And then we can go ahead and download this PNG. And then we can also download our 1080 by 1080 to adjust this as well. And we'll go back to our Facebook ads manager. We'll go ahead and upload the exact size formats. So that way we can fit in more placements. This is really good because this will allow us to show up in the exact format necessary and it's gonna help us get more reach and allow us to get better conversions. So we've added in the exact size requirement here. We're gonna go ahead and replace this one as well with our updated nine by 16 format. And then we can choose original on this placement. And here we go, we have these formats. Now, there are a few things we can do here with optimizations, which can definitely help with your Facebook ads. You have your original creative, which will just show standard, but then we have relevant comments. A great way to turn on and get people to the most relevant comment. Meaning if somebody purchases this product and then leaves a comment saying, I absolutely love this, it's going to show that comment first to other people who see this ad. And that can increase your conversion rates and definitely provide a much better experience and drive a higher overall purchase return on ad spend. Then we have music. If you're just using a simple image, Facebook will choose the best music to overlay. This can help on the reels placement. When people are scrolling through their feed, they usually have audio turned on. So whenever they get to your ad, it will have some music which will help them go with the flow, you know, actually staying engaged on the creative. Whereas if the sound stops, they might just swipe and, you know, continue on. Then we have our image template, which will show our headline and it'll match some of the branding colors that we use in the product. We have visual touch-ups, which can help brighten up the image if necessary. Text improvements are turned on, so that way we can find the best variation. And we don't necessarily need a 3D format here because it kind of messes up our text. It's not necessary, so we're gonna leave that off. And then we could add our catalog items below. This is a great recommendation if you have the catalog connected. And then we have expand image. We don't need to because it's already pretty zoomed in in this case, so we're gonna go ahead and hit done. And these are things that have been proven to increase conversion rate so definitely recommended to have them. Then as we scroll down, we can start to add in our primary text. So one of the easiest ways to develop your primary text is by going to your website and just choosing some of the information that you already share. And this is actually a pretty good example right here. The best part of a Sunday cone now available as a bite-sized snack. So we can go ahead and add that as a variation. 
So here we have our simple text added in a ice cream emoji, and this is pretty straightforward, and this is just gonna be our first primary text example. Now we can have up to five primary text, and I definitely recommend doing that because you can find the best ad copy format that is going to convert. So we're gonna go ahead and add an additional text option. We'll go back to the website, and we're gonna pull in our next format. And the next one's gonna be a review-based copy because this is coming from a customer's perspective and can definitely help with your conversions as well. So let's go to the reviews and find one. These are pretty simple reviews. We want to find something that really highlights the flavor or calls out the main benefits. Here we go. This one's perfect. So we can go ahead and take this ad copy format. And I'm actually going to remove this portion here because this is going to simplify our text, make it much more easy to just digest and read. I usually end up eating the whole bag in one serving. They're addictive. Now, this is actually a really smart review to have as a ad copy because then other people might end up feeling the same way. And if they go through the entire bag, what's the next step? They're going to buy more. So this is going to increase our returning customer rate, which is amazing. Then we're going to go ahead and go back to Emojipedia. We're going to type in star. We're going to grab our five star review. And we're going to have one of our headlines as we're going to put verified review here and then add in our five stars. And then we can go ahead and add in an additional text option. So we'll go back to the website and we'll just take the description. Very straightforward once again. We're not overthinking the ad copy. It makes sense. It's on the website. We know it converts. So we're just going to use it again on our Facebook ad because it just reinforces what we're selling. Crunchy chocolate cone filled with creamy white chocolate that will remind you of your favorite nostalgic flavor combo, cookies and cream. That's perfect. So we're going to have that ad copy here. And then we're going to go ahead and make a final variation. We're going to do ways to eat muddy bites. We're gonna use a delicious emoji, and then we're going to call out the exact steps. Eat them one by one, put them on ice cream, because now we're giving our potential customers ideas on how they can use our product and combine them in creative ways to enjoy it. And even giving them an idea to share them and buy them for other people. We're gonna add these as bullet points to make this simple, and then we'll have a call to action, which is just gonna be shop now. And then just to fill in our final text, we'll find one more call out. So we'll probably go to the homepage. And here we go. We have some more call outs. Tastes just like when you're a kid, only better. This is going to be for the people who remember eating ice cream and always loving the bottom portion of the cone. And we'll have another set of bullet points here. And then we can add some additional emojis like the checkbox. You can see how quickly we put together this ad already. We're not overthinking this. We're keeping it very simple. We're just taking what is already proven and what what we already have, adding it as ad copy. And now we can start on our headlines. So one of the headlines can be 5,800 plus five-star reviews. Another headline can be the actual product name. So if we go back to our product, cookies and cream, and we'll use Muddy Bites as just our brand name. Award-winning flavor, that's another good one. And then one final call out, and we'll say bite-sized wafer. And then for our description, we'll say free shipping as a call out because we offer free shipping. And then we're going to go ahead and choose our call to action. In this case, it's gonna be shop now. And so you can really see how we're leveraging every potential placement possible from the creative to the headline to the actual primary text and description because we wanna maximize the total number of variations to see which ad creative and copy variation is going to drive the most conversions. So that way we can use our test and learn strategy going forward to continuously optimize and get a better result for ourselves. And then a lot of people miss out on the info labels. It's one of the most powerful ways to increase your sales, you can have additional real estate. And what I mean by that is it'll make your ad bigger. You can add more call outs, make it much easier for people to make a buying decision. A lot of their objectives are around how long it takes to ship. Is the shipping free? Do you offer multiple payment options? Is there a refund policy? If I don't like the product, what are the guarantees? This is where you can add info labels. So we'll say free shipping and we might already offer free shipping 100%. So we don't necessarily have to say it's over a certain price, but if yours is over 50 or $100, we just type that in. Then we can add in our shipping time frame. So it might take us only three days to ship. Then we can do another info label, which is our return policy. And we can say our returns free. Yes. And then returns are accepted within 30 days. And then another info label, which might be our payment options. What do we offer as a payment option? You can see exactly how many payment options that you offer on your Shopify store. You should have that information for your business. You know, you might offer ShopPay, PayPal, Google Pay. These are all things that you want to mention here. We'll go ahead and say Afterpay, Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal. Mention those. So now 
we can go ahead and look at some of these additional info labels, which are business information. Now, if you joined Instagram a long time ago, this could be a relevant one to show and could give more validation that your business has been around for a while. So you might keep that option. If you don't have a store location, then you need to uncheck this box because it doesn't make sense to be shown on your ad. Store price range. If you don't have a store, don't show it. Location, don't show it if you don't have it. Social cues. If you have a lot of Instagram followers, and what I mean by that is over 10,000, definitely make sure to have this box checked because it gives more social proof. When somebody sees your Facebook ad, it says over 150,000 people follow this page or like this page. That is going to tell other people that, you know, people are interested in what you're offering. So it can definitely help. Page check-ins. Once again, no location. Page follows. Great. Page likes. Message response time. If you have automations or if you respond to every message, if you're fast with it, if your team is on this, then keep it on. Page ratings. If you have multiple five-star reviews, leave it. If not, uncheck it. And so we'll go ahead and use these options here because these info labels make the most sense for us. And as you can see, I'll actually show these on your ad and then we'll hit done. And then if we have a promo code, this is a great way to highlight your promo code. Automatically source codes from your website. If you have a 10% first time offer or a free ship coupon, Facebook will go ahead and find it on your site and automatically offer it to somebody where they can claim that coupon code. That way they don't have to type it in when they check out. Or you can manually add the code where it's first 10, which means first 10% off. And this will show on your ad. This is a great way to incentivize new customers, especially if you know you have a high returning customer rate, you can get more people to buy your product. Then we're going to go ahead and send people directly to our page. So we'll click on the exact flavor that we were just doing, which was the cookies and cream. We'll copy this link, paste it here because it's going to dynamically show that for us. Next, we can go ahead and add in our URL parameters from Surge. If you haven't signed up for Surge, you can get a free 21 day trial. You'll get ad recommendations, email recommendations, Shopify AI recommendations, and everything you need to essentially optimize your store just beyond your ads. And it also provides you a way to track your analytics and return an ad spend from your performance dashboard. So we simply just go to settings inside of Surge and grab our tracking script. So that way we can measure additional purchases that Facebook may or may not miss. We'll go to manual and we'll go ahead and access UTMs. We'll copy this and we'll place it in our URL parameter section. So now that we have this, we have our ad built out. We've leveraged not only different headlines, different copy, different placements, but we have a full ad built out. And typically I recommend choosing one of your primary text and just adding it in as the ad name. So that way you have it here and can use this to know and identify which ad format this is. And so we have our first ad variation and we can go ahead and look at advanced preview and see how this shows up. You'll start to notice that it's pretty dynamic. It shows a lot of different angles here. We have, you know, this first one, which is our Facebook feed ad. We have one where it shows the 50, 100 plus five star reviews. We have our Instagram placement. We have movement on this Instagram feed video. We have our actual Instagram story. And then as we go down, you can see all the other placements and how Will show up. The text fits perfectly on the reels placement. And we're really just scanning to look if we missed anything and making sure everything looks perfect for our ad formats. Once again, it does. And we have all of our optimizations turned on that we're going to leverage. And so now we can go ahead and publish this format. The next step would be duplicating this and adding in additional variations. I always recommend up to five formats because you can get a lot of testing done. You can do a carousel of all your different flavors or different products. You can do a collection, which shows your product and then the actual catalog below. You can do an actual video, which is great, especially with Instagram Reels being a heavy placement that people are visiting. And on Instagram Stories and Facebook Stories, you can show up in that placement more frequently with a 9 by 16 video. So definitely make sure to leverage that. And then if you have a partnership where you have another creator post for you, you can activate this and use their page to run ads from. That's another great way to leverage Facebook ads. So I would go ahead and build out the five ad creative formats, build out your primary primary text, your headlines, and description, and enable all of the information that makes the most sense for your business because it's going to help you get more conversions. And if you're interested in learning more strategies like this, I highly recommend to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Chase Chapel, so that way you can see more videos every Friday when we release them covering Facebook, TikTok, email, organic strategies to get more sales for your business. And if you want to take it to the next step and generate an additional 100K per month, then I highly recommend checking out our one-on-one -on -one ads mastery mentorship. We've completely revamped it and are releasing new modules every week into this curriculum where we can help you go through the exact process of how to take your store to multiple six figures per month covering everything you need around your ads in a one-on-one -on -one environment where we're directly working with you and coaching you through the process. So go ahead and book a call if that sounds like something that makes sense for you. And once again, it's your favorite digital marketer here, Chase Chapel. Cheers and bye all.